This is Inside Edition Fairy Tale, and I'm your host, Jamie Doll. Welcome, Comporium Ears. So, here in Miami land, specifically Fairy Tale USA, you will find me doing several things as I wear several, several hats. As Inside Edition Fairy Tale's lead lady, you never know exactly who you're going to meet. But we go on these adventures and we take them together, and I'm looking forward to another. Thank you. This is The Jamie Doll Show. Three, two, are you ready? We're on the air. Recording from beautiful Miami land. Inside Edition, Fairy Tale. Hi there, Jamie Doll here. Welcome to Inside Edition, Fairy Tale. This is the story of Lizzie Hart's daughter of the Queen of Hearts. Unfortunately, Lizzie's not very happy right now. Let's see why. I can't believe on Christmas Eve my lobby isn't filled with gifts. I recommend you fix this mess or you'll be recycled in our paper press. Oh my my, I see. Let me find who can help me. And with that, Cartman ran off to find a savior. Who knew he'd come back with Mr. Tater? Of all the suitors that could be found in court, Cartman went and found a good sport. The queen, known to have short patience, was quite unrude. Perhaps she was delighted by his big blue shoes. Nonetheless, she warned him to make this time count. She wanted good gifts and she wanted them now. Mr. Potato, I expect you will deliver. If not, I'll deep fry you and have you for dinner. Took a deep breath. He wasn't certain he could keep up with this request. Oh, yes, Miss Hart. I'm ready to start. Introducing the lovely marionette clown ready to turn your frown around. Off with her head! What in God's name do you call this mess? Oh, no! Oh, and her purple horse is worse yet! I'm so perturbed! Off with his head! Well, after this response, Potato was shocked. He worried for the clown sitting down on his butt. This clown was different. He seemed sort of sad. Yet the queen looked and didn't like. She said, Off with his head! Queen didn't like clowns, so this was strike two. Card man pushed him, out the chair he flew. Next was Smurfette, but right away, Queen hated her hair and threw her some shade. You know you're dead! Off with her head! Smurfette was hurt and ran out the court, mushroom and toe. She didn't mean to offend the Queen, she just didn't know. The queen was pissed and felt disrespected. She started to wonder if anyone would get it. Unfortunately, they continued coming and, well, disappointing. Next was Wisp, the genie, and she was just as boring. Off with her head! I offered 13 wishes. You'd think she'd use one. And next there was Anna from Arendelle. She brought her friend, hoping to win over the Queen's grin. Queen Lizzie, I bring you all off the performer. He will greet you and make your heart warmer. Oh, and I like warm hugs. Off with his head! They just weren't getting it. And in fact, the next one brought a dirty rat. At this point, Lizzie couldn't believe her eyes. Did the mouse girl think this would be a welcome surprise? She explained, My name is Masabi's King. You cannot treat us this way. We are living things. Off with both their heads! Well, maybe a man would do the trick. It was quite clear the queen was sick. Does she like anyone? Potato began to wonder. Surely a man playing music would bring the thunder. Aiden was his name, or so he said. And for a minute, he had her stead. She did seem smitten with his handiwork. But she snapped out of her trance and called him a jerk. Offended, Aiden retorted, You know you're cute, and I like when I'm with you, but your attitude sucks and you're such a dread. Off with his head! With this latest bow, Queen Lizzie is visibly upset. Potato feared it'd be off with his head. He was now prepared to surrender to a deep frying, when alas, he heard the sound of his friend Heath crying. Potato, dude. I'm sorry I'm late. It's just the dame I dealt with is kind of lame. She showed up all ugly made me feel bad. It was then I remembered you told me to come back. What is it you need? Hey, this dame is cute. Maybe she'd like this chick from my coop. She's golden and young and all comes with it. 
can't deal with it no more. I call it biscuit. The chick was active and hopped right along, knocking over Cardman right to the floor. With no concern, Lizzie seemed to be cool. Apparently, she likes men who are tools. Ooh, Biscuit, hmm, I think I like this creature. Where did you come from, Heath? Nice to meet ya. Okay, this seemed to be working. Is it possible to the queen that Heath is charming? So the moral of the story is I guess you never know what makes one happy to others bring sorrow. The queen has some issues and clearly obscure. One thing's for sure and it needs no fixing. You can't be mad with a chick who loves chicken. <laughs> <laughs>